My darling Vikash, as we approach today, I wish you nothing but pure love, happiness and safety. I hope to be in your life forever. You are my soulmate, my sunshine, my blessing. Thank you for making me feel loved and showing me what love is. You are pure on everything I hope to be. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even heard must be felt with the heart. For all of us, today is the culmination of almost a week of celebration of the marriage between two young people who are loved dearly by us all. It is said that it takes a village to raise a child, and in Vikash's case, it took several villages. There has, however, been a resounding benefit of this occurrence in that Vikash, has, as a man, represents a composite of the best virtues of all of his mothers. I am of the firm belief that this event is what has made him into the ambitious, resilient gentleman that Kimberly now proudly calls husband. Wedding day is something every little girl dreams about all the time. It's your moment to shine, and I'm so happy her dreams are coming true. I've witnessed her going to a better person in many different ways since she's been with Bikash. Our family has welcomed him with open arms, and I know he respects the close bond that our family has. But what he should also know is that he won't be marrying Kimberly alone, but our entire family. So to Kimmy and Vikash, your wedding day will come and go, but I pray your love for, for goes. Congratulations. Vikash, a couple of years ago, you met Kimberly by mistake, I have to say, right in our home. And <laughs> let me tell you all guys, that was it. That was it. That sealed everything. It was a Friday evening, March 30th. Seeing the gate opening and then seeing her in front of the gate standing, I froze. The most beautiful woman stood waiting on me. The first meeting made me so nervous. I could not stop staring. But that first meeting left me in awe. Immediately after their first interaction, as Auntie Mira rightly said, it was when he drove. They called me to tell me about the girl he saw. He knew right then and there that she was the one for him. She said, you have her number? I was like, no, but I met my wife. Being the gentleman I am, I decided to get to know her. Kimmy has been my longest friend, and I've seen her good days and bad. And what showed me how special Vikash was to her was the way he made her bad days better. And to tame that boy? Hmm. Three days later, I got sick on the job. I came down with a red eye. And Kimberly opted to come and pick me up. And she dropped me home. While driving home, I could not stop but stare at her. This beautiful woman wanting to drop me home. I couldn't drive, but I was feeling nice because I had a good view. Seeing her again, she sent my heart into palpations. Butterflies populated every cell of my body. After one week, I manned up the courage 
to ask her on a date. Our first date was a movie. It's a replica of our life. Beauty and the Beast. And then, what she adores the most, we had tea over the scenic view in Mount St. Benedict. There we chatted and we got to know about each other. And there, my heart continued to open for her. I found a person who did not judge me, but who accepted me from me. My love, you have taught me a lot. You taught me to drive, and you taught me to be stronger. But most importantly, you taught me to be more kind than I usually am. You taught me to live life with adventure. You've encouraged me to be the better version of myself. Kimberly, thank you for making me the happiest man today. We were two complete strangers, but when we started speaking, it felt as though we had met before, maybe in other lifetimes, and you've always been not my rock, but my diamond. Today, I want to thank your mommy and your daddy, Mr. and Mrs. Bobby and Samira Mongol, for giving me and blessing me with such a remarkable, young, brilliant, independent woman. Thank you very much. And I would also like to thank my parents, my mother and my father, who have been my, my, my main supporters all my life, who has stood the test of time to, to get me where I am today. I want to thank them on your behalf for giving you a handsome, hardworking, determined, ambitious young man at your side. I pledge to you my love every day, that you are my will, my heaven, and my life. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you all to please join me in giving a round of applause to these people. For without them, these two people won't be what they are today. But let's move a toast to this wonderful, awesome couple. To a successful marriage. Cheers. Congratulations. Congratulations. Today I stand here, you as my wife, and I as your husband, to say thank you for choosing me. You've stood with me always. You've encouraged me to be better. I love you, Kimberly Monger. A nice ring to it. I pledge to you my heart and my life that your happiness will be my happiness, your sadness will be mine, and your struggle will be ours. I pray to God that I am able to always make your life comfortable, but most importantly, that we continue to love each other as the days go by, and may our life continue to blossom beautifully.